So our next question is, what was the CD's range? So for that, we're going to try to find the total distance in the x direction from the origin to where it lands. So with our givens, we have that V1x equals 8.60025 meters per second, and we figured that out at the beginning with Sokotoa. And then we have that T equals 3.74286 seconds, and acceleration equals 0 meters per second. So uh, acceleration in the x direction is going to equal 0 because we know that when motion, when any kind of thing falls, it's going to be increasing in the y direction, so it's going to be accelerating. But in the x direction, it's still going to be staying the same, so there really is no acceleration. So we can see here the distance in the x direction never changed once, which is why there's no acceleration. So moving on to the question, we're going to use the equation delta dx equals v1x delta t plus one half a delta t squared. Now we're going to be able to cross out the whole one half a delta t squared because zero times anything will end up being zero, so it's not important. So when we sub in our values, we have 8.66025 meters per second times 3.74286 seconds. And we get that that equals 32.417 meters. And with sig digs, we get 32.4 meters. So this is the total distance traveled in the x direction or the range of the CD.